Welcome to our next tutorial of Mesh Surface for SOLIDWORKS. Let's bring in one scan mesh. The STO file is loaded and it will appear into the SOLIDWORKS part document. You can see on the screen we can just take a look at the number of triangles. It is nearly 3 million triangles and even with this number of triangles we can easily rotate on the screen as you can see, we can easily zoom. The whole idea behind this is that if the number of triangles goes, is more than 1 million, the software automatically uh, turns the visualization into point mode, which is easier to render on the screen. But despite this, for the algorithms, this might be quite a lot of triangles. You can continue and do your reverse engineering on this mesh, but in some cases you may want to reduce the number of polygons that we have in this mesh for easier manipulation. For this purpose we have a function which is called decimate. Decimate is, you can find it on the common part. You press the decimate button and you get um, some parameters and options here that will affect the decimation. The first thing you see is the existing number of triangles. Then, on the next line, there will be the number of triangles displayed after the decimation. The way you can reduce the number of polygons, triangles, is in two ways. You can just type in the number of target triangles that you want to achieve, for example, 1 million which in this case is uh, around 34%. Or you can just say, I want to get this object down to 30% of the original side. You can press preview button and the software will automatically will uh, perform the decimation, which is a process that investigates the, the number of uh, triangles, it uh, reduces the number of uh, polygons, you may get the effect like this one. Don't worry, that it's not that SOLIDWORKS is not working. It's simply the way it handles notifications from the add-ins, and sometimes they just disappear. But the software is uh, up and running. It takes a while, the simplification, because this is a 3 million mesh. And at the end, you will see a preview of what the mesh will be. So, as you see, almost nothing changed, but technically the number of triangles of the new mesh is much less than the, in the beginning, and you can see in my case it's uh, nearly 900,000. The question now is how good this decimation is. How can I go down and how far I can go down with this decimation without losing any accuracy? For this purpose we have something which is called analysis tools that you can find in many of other um, processes in our add-in. So by clicking on the analysis, the software automatically will take the original mesh and it will compare to the new mesh and it will show you um, color deviation. What do we see on the screen is that every um, vertex is uh, colorized based on this distance in we provide a tolerance. The tolerance means how far from the how far from the resulted mesh we are taking the original vertices. And this gives us a good indication if this is a, a good result or not. For example, in this case, I just say that I my goal is to stay within 10 microns of the original mesh and I don't want to go any further. You can see in the statistics that 99.724% are in this tolerance, and there are some which are out of this tolerance. So, despite we reduced the number of uh, triangles, most of them are flat, and that's why they can easily be removed. For example, I can change my value here to 5 microns to see what happens, and then, as you can see on the screen, we start getting indication which points are getting out of this tolerance. When you, you can go and reduce the number of um, triangles, for example, to 20% of original size, and you can get your results. When you're happy, you just press the OK button. In this case, the software will prompt the user that 
the original mesh will be replaced with the decimated one. This means that the original mesh will no longer exist, there is no undo for this operation, so make sure that this is uh, what you want, and if you're happy with this, you can just press yes. Now we have uh, another mesh, which is very close to the original one, but it's much easier to manipulate, much easier to apply to different operations such as uh, slicing that you will see in the, our next uh, tools, etc. You can export the resulting mesh as an STL file format. So you can use this functionality only just to reduce the number of triangles and make it suitable for manipulation even in other applications. Thank you for watching.